Just days to go until the solar eclipse, and those solar viewing glasses are flying off the shelves. In Boston, we searched everywhere, only finding a handful at this 7-Eleven on State Street. Remember, the glasses must be ISO compliant, and popular retail chains like 7-Eleven, Best Buy, Walmart, and Lowe's may have some left, but you'll want to call ahead. So if you can't get your hands on a pair of these glasses, and remember, it's okay to share them, then you can make a pinhole projector right at home. This is something we got off of NASA's website, easy to do with children and using supplies you probably already have around your house. For this, you're going to need a cereal box that we covered with some paper so your kids can decorate it after, heavy-duty aluminum foil, tape or a glue stick, and some scissors, as well as some heavy-duty white cardboard or paper. So the first thing you're going to do with both ends of the cereal box closed is trace a rectangle around the bottom of the box. Then you're going to cut that rectangle out. Next, you're going to take the rectangle that we just cut out and you're going to tape it to the bottom of the cereal box. This will be your projecting screen. So next, you're going to close the top of the box and you're going to cut two holes on either side and tape the center shut. Okay, next, you're going to cover one of these holes with tin foil. Now for the last step, you're going to use a pen to punch the pinhole through the tin foil. So on the day of the eclipse, you won't face the sun. You'll actually face away from it. You'll look through the viewfinder and point your pinhole towards the sun and you should see an image on the projector in front of you. Happy viewing. Katie Thompson, WCVB News Center.